He also uh, do this. <laughs> Feel it, guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, congratulations. Welcome to the UFC. What's uh, what's what's the feeling like of your your first UFC fight week so far? Yeah, thank you, man. I mean, this is massive. It, uh, everything came up, coming came up in about so quickly uh, they literally phoned me and said listen you're flying out next week so uh, i mean i took the fight immediately i was i was so excited for it it was uh, i mean in the beginning i was as soon as the day i said listen i'll take the fight i didn't even know who the opponent was i didn't even know what was happening they said short notice i said well am i going to need to pack my bags like how many hours do i have i'm still at the gym <laughs> can i finish out the workout they said no you have two weeks don't just like chill not that short. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's not that short so i mean obviously the weight was a was the only concern uh, up until yesterday and we are on track we're exactly where i needed to be and now it's not a problem anymore at all and this week's been been amazing i mean being on fight island it's a historic place and uh, as soon as they announced that i was so excited to watch the fights on fight island and here i am competing on it so it's it's been amazing it's 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 great without necessarily going through all the details i mean it was kind of rough to get your contract and get over here and get everything done right so i mean was there ever a point along the way where you thought i guess i'm just not going to get to the ufc well, I mean, before getting the fight, yeah. But after they said, listen, will you step up? And they, they said, listen, this is your, you, the fight's confirmed. And I was like, well, great. And then they sent me all the paperwork that needs to be done. And I was like, oh. And I'm not too good with admin to start with. And I was like, well, luckily my girlfriend helped me out a lot. Uh, and my family, friends, team, everybody had team. Everybody just put hands together and uh, we got everything we needed to as soon as possible. Because, uh, yeah, with the whole situation, getting all the forms, uh, working with uh, government institutes, all that, it was, it was insane. But I mean, we got it on time. And yeah, I just kept on telling everyone, listen, as soon as I get on that flight, I'm going to be so... I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna sit back and relax. It's almost gonna feel like the fight's over, like wait's over, because you know once you get on a flight, you know everything is sorted. Yeah. And then once I get here, that does nothing else matters. I mean, I know I'm gonna fight. I know I'm good. So we hear a lot about like the UFC jitters, the octagon jitters, but you've been a part of some pretty big shows already in your career. So I mean, obviously this is in front of no fans, so it's totally different. But, I mean, do you feel like you'll still have those nerves that we hear, you know, hear from so often, or because you've been a part of these massive shows, do you feel like? It won't be an issue. Yeah, I think the biggest the biggest uh, challenge is going to be the fact that I'm fighting in front of no crowd. The fact that I'm fighting in front of UFC is uh, is nothing but more motivation. It's not going to get me more stressed. Uh, you know, when I go out there, uh, I fought in front of thousands of people fighting KSW, forty thousand people sold out Wembley Arena twice. It's uh, as a main event, so. You know, uh, well, on my first debut in, in the international event of, of KSW, I was the main event in, in a sold out uh, crowd in Hodge. And it was it was it was insane. But, you know, I managed that and I won that belt. So, you know, fighting for the, those big moments, they just tend to make me perform even a little bit better, even above my fireplace. So a lot of times when I perform there, I just I'm like, well, wow, where did you get that from? <laughs> so, I mean, fighting in the UFC, I honestly believe I'm going to be do something special and, and put on the best performance of my whole career. I was going to ask you, I mean, I think for casual fans, maybe this will be the first time they've heard of you, but hardcore is, you know, they've seen your, your career and your, your, you know, kind of your trajectory. So you said do something special. I mean, do you, of course you want to get a win, but do you feel like you want to come in here and show like, hey, I'm a contender. I deserve to be considered right away. Or do you, is it just kind of slow roll your way to the top? What's the plan? No, absolutely. I think uh, I've never not finished a fight. In all my 14 wins, I've had 14 finishes. And uh, I mean, my opponent, funny enough, has never been finished before. So I mean, that that makes for an exciting fight right there. I mean, yeah, somebody's always got to go in that sense, I guess. And uh, I'm 100% certain it's not going to be mine. I'm going out there to finish that fight in spectacular fashion, like I always do. Whether it comes by submission, whether it comes by knockout, whether it comes by TKO, I'm going out there to put on a performance bonus performance. You mentioned that his he's never been finished. Does that actually add anything to you, or is it the fact you're always going for a finish means that's kind of irrelevant? Or does the, does the fact he's never been finished kind of excite you a little bit more? Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's always the, the accomplishment that, that does excite me. There's, uh, and that's something that, uh, I mean, you can't look past. Uh, if something like that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to go out there and just chase a finish. I always do that. And the thing is, I do believe uh, getting a finish, the difference between a finish and a guys that go to decision more often is the fact that 
you know, you you got a, a instinct for when a guy is in trouble, when you can really go for it and pushing at the right time and you know laying back at the right time. And I do believe I have that instinct down to a T. And as soon as I see a crink in your arm with the smallest thing, if uh, if I've hurt you with the smallest thing and you try to keep that poker face, I'll know, and uh, I'll go for that finish straight away. So you know, that's uh, getting that finish is more about for me personally, not about, you know, finishing him for the first time because I'm not here to concentrate on him. I'm here concentrating on me. And uh, for me to, to solidify why I'm here, to solidify that I do belong here and uh, to solidify that I'm not here just to, to go through the ranks and, you know, maybe get to the top 20. Maybe I want to get the top 20 opponent next and uh, I want to show that, uh, that I deserve to be there. I don't, I don't want to get a, a handout. I don't want to get a fight because somebody pulled out. I want to get a fight because people want to see me fight there and I want to I never want to not be on the main court ever again now from here it's only up it's only up I've never I haven't been in the main, uh, on the prelim bout for ever since my second fight as a professional so I'm not planning on doing that ever again talking top 20 it sounds like do you have a guy in mind is there names you want to check off on your way up the rankings or are you just happy to get the numbers right now I'm fighting uh, I'm fighting Marcus Perez and that's the name in my mind and uh, after the fight I might have somebody that, uh, that I have in mind well, on the flip side Israel Adesanya when he made his debut he said like when I win this fight I will fight AB like he had a name uh, ready to go right out of the game is there, has anyone told you or gotten like you should kind of plant seeds early in your career so people may be more interested in the fight when it does happen yeah 100% and I do believe that, uh, that uh, that's something you have to do I mean you can't leave it up to you to people saying listen maybe fight because if you don't know who you want to fight you have to know who you want to fight i know who i want to fight i want to fight an, a top 20 guy next uh the guy that is ranked number 20 and uh trailblazer if i'm not mistaken he's ranked number 20 right now and he's, he's on quite a streak so i mean for me this is a this is my first fight i don't have i don't have any grounds on on calling guys uh out and saying i'm going to beat you i'm going to beat you guys you've made it let me let me prove myself first and then uh, put the division on notice and then they'll start noticing who I am and then I can start calling out guys properly. Given your experience prior to making your city, do you think the UC should view you as more of a veteran that one win and you should get these big not bigger names right away rather than that slow roll to the top? Yeah, no, so look I have a, I have a perfect plan rolled out of how I wanna see this go. I wanna I wanna fight this guy get into the top 20 and, and, and stay there and get get my UFC experience. I have a lot of experience outside of uh, the UFC. I want to get my UFC, I'm still a young guy and you know, fighting in the UFC for the first time, I don't know if I'm downplaying it, but it's a big deal. And I think for every for any fighter, it's a big deal. And uh, I'm super excited to be here. You know, the nerves are only gonna, it's not gonna be more nervous, like I said, it's just gonna be, I'm fighting in the UFC and that's, that's awesome. And uh, now the whole world can see what I've known for a while. And um, now I want to. I have a plan. I want to fight this guy, get into the top twenty, and stay there for for a couple of fights. I want to stay there and you know build my career, build my my experience in the UFC for a year around to top twenty guys, and just before I step into the top five. So I want to I want to fight guys that that are. I want to build my 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 experience within the top twenty to ten ranked guys, and then starting calling out the biggest names you know in in the in my weight division. So I see you. Hold on, uh, on, on, you can go ahead and do it. Um, I know you've been visualizing this moment for like over 10 years now. So just how surreal is it to be here? I mean, uh, this morning, me and my teammate that's here with me, yeah, you know, I was putting on the, the kit that I got and I was like, wow. I mean, this is the first time I got UFC kit not buying it. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's a, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a moment that, uh, that you can't really describe. It's the biggest moment of my life. There's, there's nothing that's ever been bigger to me. Uh, I've never experienced anything like this. It's, I honestly think there wasn't enough time when I got the call to sit and manifest it in my mind. The, the cool thing is that I've been visualizing this moment. I've been envisioning this moment. I knew it was gonna come. And uh, even though when it came, I wasn't prepared. Like you can prepare yourself as much as you want. It's, it's, it's not the same once it happens. And I honestly think after the fight, after this whole thing's done, I put on a massive performance. I know that. I'm going to sit and I'm going to let this all sink in. The the whole signing, I think uh, I'll be celebrating my signing after the win. Then I'll be celebrating my win a week after. So just just sitting and letting this manifest the, after the fight, it was so it was such a rush to get everything done. And but I mean here we are, and I'm ready for. I'm really in the best shape of my life, and I'm ready for this opportunity right now. 
and as soon as this fight's done that's uh that's when i'll sit down and let this all sink in and, and start thinking about the future cool. do you have any new visualizations as you've achieved the first one yeah, I mean, um, right now, I've, this was all part of the of the stepping. My my, my my biggest my biggest goal is being the greatest to ever do this sport. I mean, I, th I I think if that's not your vision, you're in the wrong sport. You're in the wrong place. You're in a dangerous place. If you don't vision yourself being the greatest to ever do this sport, then what are you doing here? I mean, then you're just a journeyman. I'm not just a journeyman. I'm here to to really put on the best fights that people's ever seen. And lastly, what was your favorite item out of the uh, UFC goodie bag that you got? my favorite item of the goodie bag i have to say it was well the bag itself was great and uh yeah i i, I like the trial the trousers the most i think the trousers were awesome <laughs> yeah, so, yeah i guess so and they, i knew they said listen this is some stuff it it doesn't say ufc so much so if you like it more than that and i was like no listen i want ufc on every single thing i get <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Awesome. Thank you so Guys, much. thank you so much.